Hello everyone. So far, we have covered the concepts and the architecture behind the transformer models as discussed here. And we have seen how a combination of encoder decoder layers and the concept of self attention has come into the picture in case of this models. We now come to one of the benchmark models in case of NLP called the BERT model, which also is built on the transformer architecture, which we discussed. So before we dive in detail, let's see some of the key highlights for BERT. So the first thing being it's based on the transformer architecture, which we discussed having the encoder decoder stacks and the attention mechanism. Secondly, the BERT is a bidirectional model as compared to previous models. So we'll come to this discussion what bidirectionality means in a second. And the bird has been pre-trained on a very large corpus, specifically the book corpus having 800 million words and the English Wikipedia having 2500 million words. So in case of transfer learning in NLP, bird has been pre-trained on a very huge corpus. And this is one of the key aspects for bird whereby it shines in case of other language models in this task. And also it has the self attention mechanism, which is being used in case of the transformer architecture. So now let's try to understand the main thing, the bidirectionality concept in case of BERT, which was a more distinguishing factor compared to the GPT transformer, which has a shallow concatenation and not a deeply bidirectional network. Let's take this example. We have a word bank, which is being used in two contexts. First sentence is, he and his friends went to sit near the river bank and enjoy the sunset. And the second sentence is, Tom needs to go to the bank by Saturday to claim his lottery amount rewarded as a check. So as you can understand, the bank or the word bank is being used in two different contexts here. And this is possible for the human brain to like understand based on our memory and our visualizations, but we need to make the computer also understand how to process this word bank differently based on the context. So one way to do that is to consider both the left and the right context present in the sentence before and after the word and with the help of that determine what may be the actual context with respect to which this word is being used. So that is exactly the concept which is used by word that it uses encoder representation in a bidirectional manner and it uses the bidirectionality by checking both the left side and the right side of the context word as shown here. So this is one of the key aspects where BERT shines in terms of its bidirectionality. And on top of that, it already sits on the transformer architecture and the self attention mechanism to give further better results in case of the task. So let's see now the BERT framework and the architecture which is being used. So as you already know, the transformer architecture is nothing but a stack of encoder decoder layers which are shown here. So similarly, BERT also has a count of encoders and decoders which are used. And there are two models with regards to this framework. One is called the BERT base model and another is called the BERT large model. So the base model has a lesser number of hidden layers and attention heads compared to the large. I have mentioned the specifications here with what are the hidden size, what are the attention heads present and the count of the number of parameters. And if we, if we want to see how the text is being fed into BERT, this is something like this. So we have some special tokens in BERT which are being used to cover the sentences. We will display or explain that in detail shortly. And once you pass this into the input, it goes to the hidden layer as shown here. And finally, a softmax of all the predictions or the probabilities are calculated and given as the output. So we'll get gradually understand how the sentence formation is being converted into a vectorized token and how the concept of encoding this happens in this case of the BERT transformer. Few key aspects to note here is the BERT framework understands or follows two things. One is called the pre-training and another is called fine tuning. So the pre-training is what we mentioned here where it got trained in the book corpus and the English Wikipedia corpus. And the final fine tuning is based on the custom data set which we provide to this model. So whatever the data set which we want and whatever the task we provide, we need to train the model a couple of times to fine tune based on that particular data set. So these are the two key aspects you need to remember while understanding BERT. And in the next lecture, we'll discuss how 
the sentence and the word embeddings are being constructed and fed into the bird transformer and how it gives the output. We'll understand those in detail.